Hey, what's going on, Sarah over here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to the start, yes, of my MotoGP 18 career mode. You guys really, really seem to love me playing this game and actually being genuinely bad at it, and the idea of watching me learn how to play this game and improve upon it uh, whilst I play through a career mode. And the support you guys showed it for the first video I did, which was uploaded literally yesterday, if you didn't see that by the way, annotation in the top right, um, was was insane. So uh, I, I thought I have to at least try it out and see how it goes. Obviously, kind of awkward timing if you follow me on Twitter or you just kind of, you're, you're in the know on this channel uh, about me in general. Uh, you know that I'm about to go to E3 in LA on Saturday so a little bit awkward timing so I will be trying to record as many episodes as I can to put out in the next uh, two weeks but obviously I'm going to be away from Saturday so uh, don't kill me in the comments if there aren't enough uploads that you want to see from this career mode uh, obviously a brand new career so it's kind of annoying that I'm, I'm going away so so soon but we're going to get into it and I have literally as I said I've never played any of the MotoGP games so I don't know how any of this works, so I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna nickname the series the MotoGP18 Noob Career, if you will, because I am an utter noob. If you saw the video yesterday, you'll understand why. So let's get into it. New career, and let's dive in uh, to the world of MotoGP career introduction. Young riders from all over the world. That's another thing. I kept referring to <laughs> bikes as cars, and I kept saying drivers, not riders. I need to really get into the swing of saying that. It's I'm probably never going to get used to it, but young riders from all over the world uh, know, what, uh, know that uh, the best way to access the Motorcycle Grand Prix is by competing in the Red Bull MotoGP Rookies Cup. Since it's the beginning, it's brought plenty of riders to success, many of whom have gone on to become world champions. I think it's going to take us a fair few years to become world champions, to be honest. But uh, taking place on all the best tracks in Europe, riders competing in the Cup have a chance to race on a real Grand Prix uh, bike, the KTM RC 250R, uh, developed for rookies, closely related to Moto3, okay. Um, and the teams in MotoGP pit pay close attention to rookie races, scouting tomorrow's next best talent. Well, look no further, MotoGP teams. Your new talent has arrived. There's not many faces to choose from, so I'm just going to go with this one. And you know why? It's simply because it looks a bit like Ron Weasley, in my opinion. So we're going to drive as Ron Weasley. Okay, racing number. I can't go for number seven because that's already taken or I'm assuming just uneligible. So I'm going to go for the next best thing. Going to go for number 70. Um, in red. Looks pretty good on that bike. And in general, I think it looked look good on it, it, most bikes in red. And then the nickname, of course, needs to describe us perfectly in the MotoGP universe. Basic... AF. I think that is the best possible nickname we could ever have. So, Ron Weasley, basic as fuck. Let's get going. Right, race length. I'm going to go for 15%. I'm going to I'm gonna be running this career mode very much kind of casual. You know, I, I am literally an actual noob and a casual to this game and MotoGP in general. So, it's going to be a very chilled out series. I, I want to relax whilst kind of driving and riding around. But I'm going to try and obviously concentrate and learn. But I don't want to be sitting here for ages in racing. So, I'm going to do 15%. Um, race sessions will do... Um, I'll do the full weekend just to kind of get an idea of each circuit. I feel like practice will be useful. We went for very easy in the video I did. I think that was a bit too easy since I was last. Um, so I'm going to go for easy. So which is like 40%. I'll try that out. If it seems too easy for me, I'll bump it up. But you saw my skills yesterday. Wasn't very great. So, um, yeah. Bike damage off. Tire wear. Um... We can bump that on. Yeah, yeah, let's bump that on. Manual start, no penalties. Um, let's not for now. We can change that later. All right, simulations. Auto brake off, cool. Joint brake, need that on. Track help, that will also be good for me. Auto tuck in, yep. Ideal trajectory, yep. Um, semi auto, yep. And rewind, yep. Yeah, let's keep all those on. We'll take them off when we feel confident enough, which will probably be never, but let's let's go for that. Reputation. Reputation is good representation of how popular your rider is amongst fans. Earn a reputation to get offers from the most prestigious teams and climb the categories. Well, 
You know how much I hated the reputation level in F1 2017, so let's hope in MotoGP 18, it's not going to screw me over down the line in Season 7. Transfer windows take place at certain times of the season. I'll receive offers from teams from all categories during this time, according to reputation level. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Uh, if I don't match your team's expectations, I might be forced to change direction. That's definitely going to happen to me. Sweet. Here we are in our career hub. So I've got some emails. Uh, personal manager. What's up, man? He looks he looks German and efficient. Um, throttle management, brake management, riding position, and leaning angle. That's something that I need to earn experience and improve my abilities in. Right. Championship points. Um, okay. You get points all the way down to P15. So that's definitely a great thing for me. So uh, I, think we're, I think we're fine. I think we're good to get going to our... First weekend ever. Um, we got websites. What on earth is websites? Okay. Looks like just a bit of a news feed then. Cool. Sounds good. Calendar. I can look at the upcoming races. So we got the... Well, I think, I'm guessing it's just our first kind of junior race, isn't it? Or is this the entire calendar of MotoGP? No, no. I think this is our rookie series. Okay. So we're doing like a rookie series to start off with. Cool. Um, standings wire. My career. Right. Okay. Cool. I think we're fine. Let's go to the next weekend. Let's do it. So we got, um, right, where are we? We're at the Gran Premiero Red Bull de España. Full weekend, three laps, 15% race. Yeah, that seems fine. Actually, you know what? Let me change that. Three laps. Let's do, let's do six laps. 25% sounds a bit better. So 35% race is five laps in the rookie series. I think that sounds about okay. I think 35 is a decent length. Um... Weather's random, manual start. I can't change that, obviously. Riding aids where he did. So let's get into it. Hello and welcome to the Jerez de la Frontera circuit for the opening of the traditional Grand Prix weekend in Spain. Let's do it. Let's go. Oh, look at this. Cutscene me up. Lovely. Look at Ron Weasley there. Basic as fuck. <laughs> That's amazing. It says basic AF on his butt. That's amazing. Right. We good to go? Cool. Right, we're in practice. FP1, bike settings. Um, You know what? Let's just go out to track, really, and just... Uh, so, well, we can manage them. What's that? Okay, cool. We can skip to sessions. Right, cool, cool. Um, Right, it, is it raining out there? I think, I think it was by the cutscene. So let's go to track. I want to just get an idea of what these bikes... Um, what these bikes just drive like or ride like. Helmet, and he's ready to go. We've noticed that the mechanics have been really active in the last few minutes. Let's see if they'll make the difference on the track. Probably not. Here we go. Autopilot. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go, then. Gonna have to learn this circuit. Unlike Austria, I do not know this circuit. Oh. Okay, straight away, I can, I can, I can feel the difference in power. There's, there's a lack of it, so might be a little bit easier. Still cook it a little bit into this corner. Oh god! Right. Oh no, I haven't got the turning on. I definitely need to. Well, that's one thing I immediately need to work on is the turning. That was a big thing that I had issue with. Just really knowing when to turn. I need to kind of follow the racing line, but it's easier said than done when you're also trying to brake as well. And in the race, God forbid, what that? Oh no! Not broken enough. I'm too scared on the brakes. I don't want to crash. Oh, wait, hang on. Is this just, is this just her ref? I think this is just her ref, then. I mean, it, it never said her ref anywhere. But I'm pretty sure this is her ref. I haven't driven a her ref in ages on F1, but I'm pretty sure this looks like her ref. Here we go. Across the line for our very first lap, then, in the rookie series. How's that going to be? It's a two-minute dead, pretty much. I don't know how that's going to be. Let's return to the pits. And uh, let me just move forward to FB2. And I'll see what that lap time's like. I don't know. Maybe first. Second. You know, maybe first a bit too brave. But, you know, might be solid. It was in first place. It was, uh, I was a whopping six seconds off the pace. Where are we? Where are we last? Yep, that, that's, um, that's what you want to see. That's that. That's where we belong. Right, we did one, one lap in FP1. Definitely didn't go well last place, but we're two seconds off the next best person. So I think with time in FP2 here, we could get a little bit better. Right, I'm going to try and carry a bit more speed into all these corners. See how that goes for us. A little bit of lift and coast, you know. Let the, uh, oh, well, I've lifted and coasted right into the gravel. You know, let the, let the bike do the talking rather than me 
diving it in with too much caution with the brakes, maybe, and lopping off the front end and making the guy fly off the bike. Stay in, stay in, man. Don't go up. I've lo I'm, lo I'm learning lifting up mid-corner is not the one. I want to be, if I can, I want to be kneeled in to the apex for the entire corner if I can, pretty much. So I need to try and get the line pretty much uh, not like that. Not like that. Ah, it was a much better corner. Just lift it off, let the bike roll through. No need to even use the brake right here. I'm going to take a bit of a wider line. Cut in. There we go. Now power out. All right, let's see. Let's see. What's that like? I feel like that might be better. Towards the line. 155. We've shaved off two and a half seconds, pretty much. That is... I think we're looking good. We've gone off, but I think... You know what, lads? I think we're ready. We're ready. Let's go to qualify. Enough practice. Practice is for... For a practice for losers. We're, we're a champion in the making, clearly. I definitely could have shaved off maybe a bit more time, and we could do maybe quite well on quality, but um, I don't know, because because it's quite a chilled out career, I'm not going to I'm not gonna take it too seriously in terms of like doing 100 million laps in practice to really get fast, as fast as I can, basically. But I'll try and improve as we play the series, essentially. But um, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. But that's, I think, that's how I, at least, what I personally want to tackle this career. You know, it's not, it's clearly not my main game. And I, I feel like it's going to be almost like Motorsport Manager in a way, maybe with this series. Like, if we do continue doing it, um, for more than like two, three episodes, I feel like it's going to be a case of it's, it's one of those games where I can chill out. And kind of unwind from the F1 content by playing this. And just, you know, those of you who are into MotoGP can have a bit of fun laughing at me, doing badly. And also, maybe, also, you know, it's going to be a bit entertaining to watch me get a little bit better, hopefully. All right, here we go, Ron Weasley. Game face. Let's do this. Quality time. All right, here we go, lad. Here we go. This is it. Got to perform here. The first quality session of our rookie career. Eyes on us. This could be the difference between... You know, like a, a, a worse bike and a good bike later down the line. So let's make this count. That's a, a fantastic last corner. Here we go. Onto the flyer. Let's do this. All right, flying into turn one right now. Easy does it. All right, a little bit wide. That's fine. Got some traffic here. We'll go past them. That was an okay turn one. All right, can I catch him here? I was pretty good in the on the practice lap in FB2. Just lifting off. Letting the bike roll through. There we go. Gaining some time. Lift off. Power. Okay. Mm, didn't really gain much time, did we, there? Last corner. Oh, no. Wobble. Wobble. Poor Hey Lorenzo. P13. Across the line. Eventually. What's it going to be? Slipstream. 155.1. Right, let's continue on. At the moment, that's provisional pole, apparently. I've gone too hot. Using this guy's slipstream again. It's working. I've gone a bit too hot. Nah, damn it. Wanted too much from that corner. I went around the end of that lap a lot better. Pole position's now Garcia, 154.7. 156.9. So uh, that was a bad lap. We won't count that one. Let's try and do a bit better here. Into turn one, very hot. A little bit wide. Oh, hit the gravel. I don't know about the fuel as well. I'm not sure I need to come in maybe. Or how the tire is because the, the tire wear is. I did put that on. So I don't know if the tires are wearing them right now. Maybe I should come in. I mean, I've got a lot left. I've got 34 minutes left. I just saw a little bit of a wobble on the bike there. So maybe that's the tire wear kicking in. I've got a lot of time left. So I'm going to do one more lap and then we'll come in. And then we'll see what's what. I'm catching up to this guy. I don't know if this guy's going slowly because he's on an in lap. But catching up to this dude. I feel like I'm up a little bit on my time. New pole lap now is 153.4. So the times are tumbling here. All right, cross the line, 155.6. Not better than even my time. All right, this is the one. This is the one. Let's not muck this up. Uh, wide. We can pull this back, though. We can pull this back. Didn't cut that time. Good. Got a nice turn in there. Turn three, good as well. Going to try and use this guy ahead of me. He's a bit of a yardstick, and hopefully I catch him, basically. If I can catch him, I think it will be a good lap. Oh, way too hot. Way too hot. God damn it. Oh, I feel like the rest of this lap's been pretty damn good. Just the last corner. Oh, bit of a wobble. Shake and bake. Come on. 
accelerate. That was a good line. That was a good line. Right. Even with that little wide moment, I think this might be a little bit faster potentially than our previous lap. Yes, 154 up into fourth place. Even with the off wideness, we went faster than because uh, we didn't have any reset. I mean, we went wide, but at least we didn't reset the bike. So P4, I would be happy with that. You know, we've got eight minutes to go. I'm going to retire. I think I'll be happy with P4. P4. There we go. Nice. It was can on coup on pole, but fourth place. There we go. I'm liking that. I think that's a good first showing. It was a long weekend for the riders, but finally the showdown is here. Let's go. Let's go. Screw the intros. Let's do this. P4. There we are. Right behind the pole, man. Five laps to survive around Jerez. This is it, guys. The very first rookie race of our career. Let's do this thing. It's it's showtime. Just a few moments to go until the start of the Spanish Grand Prix. These riders know it will be vitally important to take the first curve perfectly. Let's go. The five red lights. And we are on the way at Jerez. Okay, get the slipstream of P1. P2 has had a good start. Might go down the inside. We're going to stick on the outside here. Let's see if we can go around the outside. Oh, oh, oh. Cooked it, though. Cooked it in. They get us back. Oh, back in P3, though. We didn't lose a place, but we didn't gain anything. You take this easy. Take this easy, Arab. We're already in a podium position. Let me, let me learn off these drivers. Learn their racing lines. Try and find the rhythm here. That's not the rhythm. Okay. Here we go. Cool. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. This is my P4. This is my P4. Are they going to have me here? They're going to have me on toast. Oh, look at the acceleration difference. I bumped him, though. P2's getting away. I'm going to be an absolute bus. I'm going to park. I don't know if there's parking the bus on the Apex emoji P, but I'm going to bring it to them and they don't know what it is already. Easy does it. Oh, that's nice. They gave me a gap. Four tenths. P2 and P1 are having a ding-dong battle. Very, very close. An Onku. Can Onku? I said An. It's Can Onku. I've, I've put my tyres on the grass. That's not good. Gone wide. Bring this back in. We're getting away from P4, to be fair, actually. Proximity arrow is not solid red. And this last sector is my best sector. The momentum, the lift-off key. I'm good at that. All right, here we go. Let's gain some time here on P2 and P1. Lift-off. Let the bike roll. Accelerate earlier than the racing line wants me to. A uh, little bit overcooked there. That's fine. Went a little bit wide. Right, we lost some time overall. Uh, oh, no. Okay, the first crash of the GP. Who had bets on lap one? Who had bets on lap one? Okay, we're down to P10. Focus, Arrow. Focus. We can get back to P3 at least for the podium. All right, go to the inside here. All right. Easy does it, easy does it, easy does it. Down the inside. There we go. Ooh, up into P6. Can we hold it? No, we can't. Switch back move, though. Down the inside now again. Got the momentum. Throttle. Block him off. Don't you dare. We got it. Up into P6. We actually made an overtake. All right. We got, um, we got Can's brother, Dennis Onku. Accelerate, accelerate, power. All right, Dennis Onku is going for a move. Going to lift off now. Easy. Do oh, big wobble, big wobble, big wobble. No. Still P6. No, we're, yeah, we're still P6. Aha! Just about P6. Jesus. They're coming for me. Consistency is definitely not my friend in this series. Oh, no. Oh, no. Side by side. He's pushed me wide. On the grass. Down the inside, though. Oh. It's close. We got him. We got him back. Lovely. This is close racing. You love to see it. Right. Can we please catch up to P5, though? I really want to get back to the podium. If we get back to P3, I'll call this entire thing a success. Right. Easier into this corner, Arif. Lift off. Oh, I've taken a lot of speed there. Went so hot into that corner. But we gained some time, I feel. Yeah, we definitely gained some time there going that hot into the corner. Fast that from Onku. This is what I'm pronouncing wrong. It's actually Onka. 
Onka. I feel like Onku sounds better, though. Down the inside of Onku. Oh, no. Switch back. Come on. Switch back, Elite. The My Driver dive. The My Rider dive. Yes. No. Switch back again. No. Damn it. Got the weight change a little bit off. Compose, Arif. Compose. Compose. Channel or inner Ron Weasley. Oh, I got this corner so much better. So much better. You have to lift off at the first brake uh, break marker board on the Prelly board. So I got that now. I got that locked into my mind as how to take that corner. Right, lift off here. Bit of a break. Let the car wobble. Car wobble? The bike wobble. God. Lap four. Mark my words. Lap four. Remember it now. Lap four is when I get Denny's. <laughs> oh, I've gone so wide. Damn it. Close. Right. Easy does it. Easy does it. Cook it in. Cook it in. Cook it in. Slow. Switch. Tighter line. Accelerate. Gaining. 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 Gonna fake to the left. And I'm gonna keep to the left. It's not a fake. Double duke. See you later, sucker. And down the inside of Barry. Come on, Barry. It's the battle of the basic names. Barry v. Ron. Right, lap four sussed. It's time to get P3. We're in P4. We're back to our grid slot. That's pretty good. But can we get the podium in our first ever race? I mean, we already kind of technically did that. I mean, this is our second race, but the first race in career. But can we match the third place we got with Mark Marquez in that video yesterday with a podium here in the career, in the rookie race? Last lap of the Grand Prix here in the Red Bull Rookie Cup. This is it. We need to have this be a flyer of a lap. We just set a fastest lap. 153 dead. This needs to be a 151 or something like that to catch P3. Shift the weight. Good. Good. Good turn three. Come on. Lift off. Roll through. Accelerate. I can accelerate here. We're cool. We're cool. Right, this corner... I've literally not a clue how to take it this entire time. Wide. Accelerate-ish. Come on. All right, we gained some there, I think. Well, this next corner, I need to take it perfect. Right, lift off just before the two marker board. There. Lift off, lift off. Break, 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 break. Easy does it. Turn in. Sharp. Accelerate. Accelerate. Let's go, let's go. Carlos Tate. Come on. Lift off, turn in, yes, yes. It's probably going to be a fastest lap from us, but it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Carlos in the end of it. He's had too much for us. The podium is not going to be, it's going to be P4. But finishing where we qualified, I think that's pretty good. And pretty much shows that I think, we were, I think we've got a pretty good level at the moment. I'm, I'm racing to where I'm qualifying. So it's not like I'm, I'm learning, I'm getting uber pace in the race. And across the line, then, is Kan Onku. But there we go. Fourth place in our first ever Moto Rookie thing, mobile brace, whatever you want to call the championship. Fair enough. Got some reward points there. But decent enough first weekend up. Well, guys, if you did enjoy that, be sure to hit that like button. And let me know what you thought in the comments below. And uh, let me know if you have any feedback, if you're familiar with MotoGP games. Let me know if you have any feedback or also just how you want to see this series run. If you have any kind of suggestions, maybe do, you know, if any, uh, later in episodes, if you feel like maybe we need to bump up the difficulty, let me know. Or maybe bump it down. I don't even know that. But uh, P4, I feel like that's a pretty decent effort in our first ever rookie race. I want to remind you guys, this is literally my second ever race on a MotoGP game, ever. So, I think we did pretty okay there. We got 13 points for our effort. 13 points. Let's hope that's not unlucky for us. It's all started that day. Yeah, there we go. Love it. Love the morale here. And there we have it. Our first race is done. We're back in the hub. And that's where we're going to call it episode then, guys. So if you did enjoy it, like I said, hit that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you do want to see more, then be sure to hit that like button for a second time round, even though you can't do that. But if you're on your own, do, do get subscribed for weekly content. Like I said, guys, uh, I'm going to LA on Saturday. So it's kind of uh, unfortunate that the game had to come out this week. And th th that's when E3 is as well. Um, but I'll try and record at least maybe two more episodes if I can to kind of pull us over maybe on the weekend and then one next week 
Um, but then when I'm back from LA, then who knows? Maybe we can try and do some regular episodes. It depends on really the response and if you guys keep on supporting the, the series, really. It's kind of like most what manager almost. If you guys keep supporting the series, there's a decent enough a number of you guys watching the videos, then I, I don't see why we, we shouldn't continue. I mean, it's a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it, and it seems like there's a decent amount of you guys uh, that are enjoying it, and uh, it's just something fresh and different, and something to relax over. So, uh, yeah, again, if you did enjoy it, hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.